Hey, what's up guys? My name is Matt and today I'm going to be talking about coin flip sports betting. So um, what does that mean? Basically, I'm going to be relating flipping a coin 50-50 probability to uh, betting on sports and uh, outcomes, probabilities, statistics, stuff like that. And I'm mainly going to be relating it to positive EV bets and why, you know, just because you might lose a couple positive EV bets in a row doesn't make it a bad process. Um, and this is actually pretty topical for myself because if you want to just look at my stats, so I'm up a, a, over a thousand overall, but past two weeks, I'm down over 300 bucks. And so that's from, that includes Thursday night and then all of last week. So, um, you know, sometimes that happens. You have bad weeks. That doesn't mean I'm obviously I'm not down overall. I've, I've had much better weeks than I've had the, than the ones that I've lost, but I just had a bad week. So, um, how can we, how can I detail why just because you've had bad weeks doesn't mean that I've been placing bad bets. So let's look at flipping a coin. 50% heads, 50% tails, right? So let's say I flip a coin, you know, 100 million times. It'll average out to 50-50 each. But let's say I flip a coin twice. It doesn't mean it's going to be one heads, one tails, right? So, so let's do some math. So this is going to be both times heads. This is going to be heads, uh, heads once, tails once and this is gonna be tails. All right, so basically, I'm gonna do 0 0.5 equals 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, 50% times 50%. So 25% of the time, I'm gonna get heads both times. Now I'm gonna do, so how many times I'm rolling it? Two equals two multiplied by 50, again, multiplied by 50% times 50%. Basically, two times a quarter, which is 50%. And then this is gonna be the same thing. So, what does this mean? It means that if I, roll, if I flip a coin twice, there's a 25% chance I'm gonna get heads both times. There's a 50% chance that I'm gonna get um, heads once and tails once. This should say tails, not ties. Excuse me, I do love Thai food, but it's not what we're talking about now. And 25% chance that I'm gonna get tails twice. Okay, so. How do we want to interpret that in the sports betting? And how do I want to detail that sometimes bad variance doesn't mean a bad outcome? So let's look at this in a couple different ways. So let's say I flip a coin a hundred times and somehow I get, it's an it's a equally weighted coin and somehow I get heads 99 times in a row. While that's incredibly unlikely, you might think, all right, so the hundredth time you should, you should, you know, it's going to be heads, right? Because of what's happened you're gonna, it's going to be heads, but no, you know, it's just, it's just a weird, a weird flip of the coin uh, to use a, a phrase that's topical here. Uh, it's a weird flip of the coin, but the next time I flip that coin, it's still going to be 50%, no matter what, no matter what happened before, each time I flip a coin, there's a 50% chance that it's going to be heads and tails, but okay. So now let's use an example. And this is where a positive EV betting comes into it. Let's say that I now found out that the coin that we're flipping actually is a little bit weighted more to the head side than the tail side. But people that are betting that don't know that. Only I know that. So, you know, um, I know that actually, if you want to use an odds converter, so I know that 52, let's just, you know, I'm going to put this at 52 just to make it easy. 52% of the time, it's actually going to be heads. So it's more likely um, and not 50-50. So we're going to change this equation to 0 0.52 times 0.52. So I go from... I go from 25% to 27%. Um, the odds, it's heads and tails goes from, so this time I want to do, you know, I want to multiply two times both outcomes. So now instead of 50%, I'm 49.92%. And then the, the kicker, the most important one for the purpose of this, whoops, 0.48 times 0.48, looks like 23% of the time that happens, it's going to be tails. So does that mean that betting on heads was a bad outcome or excuse me, a bad bet? No, it just means that I got unlucky and, you know, variance. Um, variance sometimes happen. You know, taking the Thursday night example, the Bucks minus six and a half was the better play. The Eagles looked terrible. They had no business making that game as close as they did. But Tom Brady throws a pick. The Bucks get stopped on fourth down. The Bucks punt when they really shouldn't have punted. They should have gone for it. And the Eagles score 15 points late in the game. They only lose by six. So I'm, as an Eagles fan, I'm mad because they lost. As a better, I'm mad because I chose the right bet, but it lost. But that doesn't mean, like I said, that I placed a bad bet. So let's use this in positive EV terms and um, the expected value of a bet. So 
let's say that um, the true odds are um, minus 110. So I know that this coin is weighted heavier to heads. It's going to land on heads more 52% of the time, not 50-50. But nobody else knows that. It's just me. So I'm getting the odds at 100. So how do we calculate that um, using positive value? So the, um, or so, excuse me, how do we calculate the positive value from that? So you can get that, um, that information tells you how to calculate it here. Um, I can give you, actually, no, I want to go, what I want to go is here. So the, the formula is here. It's fair win probability multiplied by profit if win subtracted by fair loss probability multiplied by the stake. So let's, let's put that in real numbers. Okay, so, uh, wrong sheet. So fair win probability. This is the percent chance that my bet is gonna win. So using the odds converter calculator, uh, that's about 52.38. So this is 0.5238. What do I multiply it by? The stake if I win. So I'm betting 100 bucks, right? Excuse me, my, this, is gonna, this is winning, it's not stake. So I'm winning 100 bucks, I'm, I'm betting 100 bucks on heads, so 100 bucks. Um, then the losing probability is 48%, and the stake, and multiplied by the stake, is 100. So what is the expected value on every time I bet heads? So I'm gonna do fair win probability, oh, whoops, forgot to put the equals. Fair win probability multiplied by my winnings, subtracted by, I forgot to put a parenthesis here, I really butchered this, subtracted by the losing probability multiplied by the stake. So it looks like um, the expected value of this bet is going to be $4.38. So that doesn't mean that, you know, if I bet 100, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to profit $4. It means that that is the expected value. Um, so if I, you know, there's a, if I, there's a 27% chance that I'm going to make $200 betting this twice. There's a 49% chance that I'm going to break even. And there's a 23% chance that I'm going to lose all 200 bucks. Um, and that's where the 4.38 comes from, right? So let's use a real life example of um, positive EV plays. So let's go to the positive EV page. So, all right, this one right here, Blake looks like it's Blake Jarwin under receptions. So Pinnacle has it at minus 138. Those are the true odds, minus 138. So there's about a 57.98% chance of this betting, of this winning, 57.98. Um, so if I bet 100 bucks on minus 102 odds, my net profit is going to be about 98, but let's do the math. So equals 100 divided by the odds, which are 102, multiplied by how much I'm betting, which is 100 bucks. So this needs to be, wait, I did that wrong. Give me one second. Oh, I need to do multiplied, not divided, multiplied by. Okay, sorry. So I'm going to be winning $98 if this bet hits. The losing probability, so, you know, equals one minus this. 42% chance this bet loses, the stake is still 100. So now the expected value, so if, if the expected value for this bet is $14. So I've now gone, I've placed one bet where the expected value is four, one bet where the expected value is 14. So if you wanna look at the probabilities again, it's gonna be, let's just do call it 58 to make it even numbers. So now if I place this bet, this, if I place this Blake Jarwin, if this Blake Jarwin bet plays out twice, um, let's, it looks like based on, you know, the sharpest books, sports book out there, Pinnacle, that that will hit 33% of the time. Okay. Um, now let's do, let's see what are the chances that one time it hit, one time it hits, one time it doesn't. Looks like that'll happen 48% of the time. Now let's look at what are the percent, what, how many times, what's the percent chance that it'll lose both times? 17%. So again, the, if that 17% happens, that 
it loses both times, that doesn't make it a bad play still. I think that is the most important thing to understand. And that is what the better, the, the gambler's better's fallacy is that, you know, you use the outcome of a previous bet and you think that that will have a cause on the next completely unrelated bet. So I bet bucks minus six and a half. That lost. I'm looking at my lock now for the Cowboys um, that, I, that I made my lock against the Patriots in my last video. So in my, if I'm using the gambler's fallacy, I'm saying, oh, you know, the last lock I had lost. I should, you know, I should just, I should just go with the Patriots now because, you know, I, that, you know, I, you know because it lost and that's what's going to happen. But no, that was just one of those unlucky times. So, you know, if, if I'm betting on flipping a coin, I bet heads every time I should, I should, uh, not the weighted heads, <laughs> the normal heads. Um, I'm betting that a hundred times, 50% of the times I should win. Okay. So let's say that, like I used the beginning example that lost 99 times. So you should say, all right, that's, that's enough of that. I'm not betting heads again, but it's, but no, it's still a 50% chance. So I think that, you know, for the people like me that use odds jam, you understand that it profits over time. But, um, I know for the, I do think it's important to show you, um, you know, variants happen. Sometimes the bucks don't cover. Sometimes, you know, even though Blake Jarwin, um, you know, he's been kind of out snapped by Dalton Schultz to talk about the football logic of this, um, you know, 23, what was it? 20, no, not even less than that. 17% of the time that bet will lose twice, but the expected value of that bet is about 15 bucks. And you keep stacking bets that have expected positive value and you'll profit over time. So using positive EV bets, I have profited over 600 bucks, almost 650 bucks. Um, but I also have placed bets that have lost. So if you want to look at my bet tracker, positive EV, um, you know, the Kenny Gainwell over didn't hit. OJ Howard under didn't hit. Quez Watkins one hit. Um, the Jalen Hurts did not. So, you know, you, we could go, we can go on and on with my plays, which I will be doing in a future video. Um, but you just need to highlight that over time, trust the percentages, trust the odds, um, trust the sharp bets, the profitability, all that stuff. It will work out, but you'll have, you know, you'll, like I said, I've, I've profited over 630 bucks on a $500 bankroll. I've also, this isn't now to be clear, this is, um, these losings aren't specifically to positive EV betting. Um, I have that tracked on a, on a, di on a different sheet, but I'm waiting until the whole week plays out to finish that. But, um, but yeah, so you have bad weeks, some 17% of the time, a bet that should hit 58% of the time loses both majority of times it'll, you'll, it'll either hit once or you'll hit both times. So, um, that, that's the gist of it. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing for you guys. Um, if it, if it was too confusing, let, just let me know. You can find me on Twitter at Modi underscore sports. Um, you can also send me an email, Matthew at oddsjam.com. Um, but I'll, I'll leave off just, just highlighting the gambler's fallacy once again. And the fallacy is that um, a previous outcome has um, some sort of cause or correlation to a future outcome, even when there's no relation. So the Bucks covering on Thursday night has literally nothing um, no, no cause, nothing about the Cowboys outcome tomorrow. That's just, it was just bad. It was just bad luck. So if you flip a coin a hundred times, you land on heads 99 times. That doesn't mean the next bet heads is a 99% chance of hitting. Uh, it's still 50, 50. Sometimes, you know, weird stuff happens. Um, you know, I don't know. There's a ton of sports analogies, but some, the, you know, the Bucks beat or the, um, excuse me, the Giants beat the Patriots twice in the Super Bowl. But if you play that out, if you play those games a hundred times, how many times did the 17 and 0 Patriots team actually lose? I don't know, maybe 20. One of those times happened in real life, but you kind of just got to trust the math, trust the numbers, and um, you know, using logic like this, using odds jam, using their positive EV bets. Luckily, you don't, you don't even need to calculate the um, the expected value. Uh, odds jam does that for you. I just wanted to show you how that works. Um, but anyways, I'll reiterate. If you have any questions, um, Twitter, you can find me Modi underscore Sports. Again, email uh, Matthew at oddsjam.com. And yeah, like I said, I hope that wasn't too confusing. Uh, hit me up if you have any questions. And other than that, happy betting, happy watching, and good luck.